Here's a nice find I made on Amazon recently while browsing for things to review. It's uh, from a seller called Ivan Tasev. I think that's more or less correct pronunciation. And uh, he's got a lot of different axes in his store. I didn't know anything about the seller or the quality, so I took a bit of a plunge. But I really like axes, and he's got a lot of interesting shapes. This one here in particular caught my eye because of the bearded shape and also because it's got an adze blade as well. So this is for making bowls and spoons, things like that, wherever you have to dig into the wood and uh, carve a, a round cavity into it. It's a tool hatchet, obviously. I might try it sometime as an improvised weapon just to see how it goes, because that would be fairly interesting. But for that, of course, the handle is very short. It's really not designed as a weapon. But either way, the blade is made of AISI 4150 alloy steel. So that's got a carbon content of 0.48 to 0.53%. And it's also got chromium, manganese, and molybdenum. The uh, hardness is HRC55. And this seems really well made. I tried it for some idle carving for the most part. I mean, I, I did carve away at the caveman club that you may have seen in one of the other videos. Other than that, I was just essentially chopping wood and carving just to see how it performs just for testing purposes. And it performed admirably. First off, one thing I really liked is how sharp it was when it came. This literally came shaving sharp. And that's rare. I mean, that's how axes and hatchets should really be, but apparently hardly anybody who makes them knows that. Yeah, I know, me and my rants. I, I usually have to rant about the sharpness, but in this case, I was really happy about that. So this is the sharpness after using it for a while. It's probably still pretty good. Yeah. Probably not hair shaving sharp anymore. Nope, not that, but it will be easy enough to touch it up. And um, it's a really good edge profile. If you look at the, the smooth transition, it, it thins out nicely towards the edge. And uh, it's just overall really nicely shaped. As you can see here, it's securely mounted with both a wooden and a metal wedge. It's pretty tight overall. I mean, I can nitpick and say that there is a little bit of space at the corners there, so the fit could be tighter than that, but it also hasn't given me any trouble, hasn't loosened up, anything like that. Uh, the handle shape I very much like, the way it tapers here. That's quite useful. It gives you good purchase on the hand. The profile is really good, so it's Oh, pretty much rounded rectangular, so that feels great in the hand. The overall performance I'm very satisfied with. It chops well, the ads works nicely, and uh, it's good material. Overall, really nice design, you know, durable as far as I can tell so far, and uh, certainly appropriate for the price. I mean, depends on what you're looking for. If you just want to go to a hardware store and pay 20 bucks or whatever for a hatchet, then well, I can understand that. It's probably not going to be anywhere near as good, especially the edge. Cheaper ones usually have rather crappy edges, and it might not be as durable, or it might. I mean, some of them are made of high-impact plastic and rubber and etc., etc. But, um, you know, depending on your budget and everything, this may seem like a lot, but I do think that it's very much appropriate for what you're getting. It is really high quality, and this is one of those tools that can last a lifetime easily. So, you know, might occasionally have to replace the handle, but that's about it. So yeah, I'm glad that I did take the plunge and spent the money to test it. I would definitely recommend checking out that store. As I said, there is a wide variety of different axes and uh, seems like pretty high quality. At least this one here is. So, hope you liked it and thanks for watching. It's nice and easy to use, and I don't have to expend a lot of energy doing so. And then there's the soothing sound of waves in the background. I don't know how, if you can even hear that with this, through this microphone, but it's nice, I tell you. 
I think based on my experience so far, this would have to be the best axe of this size, or hatchet if you want to call it that, that I've tried so far. And I have the, the Grand's Force, of course, which is amazing. This one here is very close. It's, of course, a different size category entirely and different purpose as well. But for this category, this is easily the best I've tried so far. I'm just working my wood here. <laughs> Nothing to see. I have someone else for that. Go to the beach if you have one nearby. It's nice. Mm -hmm. 